everybody, it's Charity, and welcome to my quick explanation of how to make a super sim. So I'm just going to run through a couple of my notes. And basically the first step that I usually take is to make a child of the islands sim. And it also helps to have their gregarious trait. So I choose the friend of the world aspiration and the proper trait, which gives you an easier time with friendly and romantic socials. Uh, the third trait can be anything you want. And you can choose what lot traits you want. I like study spot, romantic aura, and convivial. I have no idea how to say that. So we have our sim here who has the child of the islands trait, and we can do summon island elementals. Oh, and this should start the event where the Sulani Elementals come. And just pick any of them. It doesn't really matter which one. You just have to make friends with one of them. Then you can even add them on Social Bunny. And look, just like that, we're Max friends. As long as you're still talking to her, there should be this Ask to Move In option. And basically by moving her in, she becomes not a ghost. And then you can just end this commuting with the Sulani Island and Elementals. Okay, she doesn't have any bad traits, really. So she has the Sulani Mana trait. That is the first step in making a Super Sim. And the reason why I get that one first is because it's pretty easy. And this trait actually is inherited by any child this person has. So the next thing that I normally like to do is to get the Spellcaster traits. Now for the Spellcaster, Ancient Bloodline, Strong Bloodline, or Weak Bloodline, I like to come over to the Charm family because I think they already have the Strong Bloodline trait and they're already casters. But the reason why I do not pick Daryl is because technically Daryl is engaged to Amelia. And that's why I never picked Daryl in order to take him away from Amelia. So that's why we got Gemma. All right, and here is Gemma. And I know you're supposed to say Gemma, but sorry, I see the G and I always say Gemma. Anyway, she is a teenager. So technically you cannot add her to the household by asking her to move in. But if you befriend her brother or her mother, and ask them to move in, you can actually take Gemma instead. So I've already done that in the other series. I'm just gonna take a shortcut here, right click and add to family. And then since she is a teenager, we will change her to a young adult. And there is Gemma. All right, and actually you don't need a place to woohoo, I forgot. You can just ask to have a science baby. But before we do that, what I also like to do is have the on ley line lot trait. I think that also affects science babies. We'll see. Okay, so I sent her off to have a science baby because it's quicker than having an actual baby. Oh, they both went. Okay, I've never done it with two Sims in my household. So they both went to have the science baby. And we have a girl and a boy and two babies. Okay, so I think the on ley line lot trait works. Now in the other series, I was always trying to have a female because the females carry the babies. But since the invention of the science baby, we don't have to do that anymore. Okay, and now this child has ancient bloodline and Sulani mana. And then we just speed run it to young adult and there you have maricella so she is going to be our first step in the super sim okay another thing i forgot is that i needed to make sure this one was a spell caster otherwise the bloodline trait will go down to strong bloodline and you need an ancient bloodline for the next step so i just turned her into spell caster you could either visit the magic realm and do it that way and it actually instantly changes them into a spellcaster without collecting the moats because having this ancient bloodline or any bloodline trait means your parents were spellcasters and they don't make you collect moats. All right, then in Kaz, I added an alien and it really doesn't matter the gender. We just need to be friends with 
Andre here. And then we have a science baby with Andre. And we got a girl, Carrie. Another girl, Kristen. And that was twins. All right, now this is where it gets tricky. I used to think that because they're blue, that they were half alien. Uh, but I think because their parent is an alien, that yes, they are always half alien. But when you start to have babies with the half aliens, then they're not always half aliens. You have to check. So here we have the first one. And she has the Sulani mana and the ancient bloodline trait. And now Kristen is a young adult. And for future reference, what I normally do to verify that she is half alien is her father is an alien. So if you go to the friendly interactions and go to activities, she must have this secret handshake. And if that does not appear, then she does not have the half alien trait. And there's no other way to tell because it is hidden. I think they can do that once they're a teenager. I don't think they can do it as a child, but they do not need to be an adult. The only reason why I made her a young adult is because she needs to have the next step. So she is ancient bloodline. Oh, and she is not a caster. So the next step is to get the greater wolf blood. And in order to have the greater wolf blood, you need two werewolf parents. And in the first step, I try to get the dormant trait because I don't know if this is the only way to do it, but it is the fastest way to do it. All right, I did turn her into a werewolf. And then I also added a werewolf to the household in Kaz. So we have two werewolves that are going to have a science baby now. Okay, we have a boy named Samson and a girl named Hope. All right, neither one of these have the purple skin, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're not an alien. So the first step is to try to age them up. And for whatever reason, it doesn't let you age them up when you first load into the lot. Okay, Samson does not have a werewolf trait. Okay, and Hope has the greater wolf blood trait. Now, see how this has greater wolf blood and strong bloodline? We want strong bloodline and dormant wolf. And as a child, I don't know. Okay, so activities, it only says ask to be put to bed. So if she is half alien, it's not showing up. Okay, now she's a teenager and the parent is not a full alien. She's a half alien, but we should still see that handshake show up. And I don't see any activities. Okay, so basically she is not a half alien. And I was just going to swap out her trait, but since she's not a half alien, that's not going to work. Let's try the other toddler. Okay, the other toddler actually was an alien. Okay, it, yeah, that outfit and that haircut is terrible for a teenager. All right, we're going to use him then. All right, so Samson is the next in our step. I know he has the strong bloodline and no werewolf trait. However, he is also a werewolf. So I'm just going to cheat to add the dormant wolf to him. And we're going to pretend that I did this over and over again until I actually got what I want. All right. He's now a spellcaster. And what I have to do is go under the gender options and change from get others pregnant to become pregnant. Because Father Winter is get others pregnant. And so my Sam needs to be able to become pregnant, even though he's not a female. And this is the Sims. So you can do that. All right, for the next step, we need to add a holiday and we're going to add Father Winter to the holiday. And then it needs to be tomorrow. <laughs> oh, look, and here's Father Winter. Okay, everyone go home. Okay, the first step is to get him to join your household because you have to turn him into a werewolf. And a little secret, Clement Frost has 500,000 simoleons. So yeah, he is the best one to get.
Okay, and just to skip ahead, we're going to go ahead and make Clement Frost a werewolf through cheats because I've already played through this. And there you have it. You have Clement Frost, who is a werewolf, and the sim that I have created or had through Science Babies, who is a dormant wolf, strong bloodline, and Sulani Mana. And he's also a spellcaster. So technically, he's both a werewolf and a spellcaster because he has this dormant wolf trait. And that trait allows you to become a werewolf if you swim in Lake Luna during a full moon. We're not going to actually turn him into a werewolf, though. He's going to remain a spellcaster so that he can bump this into an ancient bloodline. And that's how you get the super set. Now, in order to do this, the way to get all of the hidden traits is to have Samson and Clement Frost woohoo in the lighthouse. So this is if you have cats and dogs. In Brindleton Bay, there's this museum, Dead Grass Discoveries, and the lighthouse is right here on the edge. And I forgot, you do have to do this through woohoo. So first we have to have a first kiss. Then you can click on the lighthouse and try for baby. And you get some cute animations here, but you're going to be doing this a lot because unlike the science babies, you do have to wait for a pregnancy unless you use a mod to speed up the pregnancy, which is kind of what we're going to do here. What? You're not pregnant. Do that again. Okay, this time he's pregnant, but what it might also benefit you if you try to get from the reward store the fertile trait for both of these two because, oh, I also forgot. You can modify the lighthouse to put on the on ley line option. So that will make it more likely that you get multiples and multiples is good because having one baby at a time is going to be too slow. And because I'm impatient, I just use MC command center to set them to in labor and we're going to have the first baby. And we have a boy named Lucas. And yeah, I knew it was only one baby because I kind of forgot about changing the on ley line lot trait. So as soon as we can age him up, we will. Oh, and we actually got it first try. Okay, so we have the greater wolf blood, the ancient bloodline, Father Winter's baby, Sulani Mana. And he has the hidden trait that he was born in the lighthouse, which gives you a happy moodlet if you ever visit the, the lighthouse. And it's just a dumb thing, but that's the way it is. I mean, it doesn't really help. It's just kind of a completionist thing. So Lucas has all of the traits that he needs for an infant. However, we do not know if he's a half alien. So what you can do is save the game and then age Lucas up to a teenager. And I don't know why infants are so glitchy when it comes to aging up. I had to make more room. Come on, quit putting them back down. Just age him up. Okay, finally, we didn't make it all the way to teenager. Okay, and he's a teenager now. So Lucas, when he talks to his parent, which is Samson, under friendly, you look for activities. And if there is no activities in that secret handshake, which there isn't, then sorry, but Lucas is not the super sim. So you just have to continue to do that over and over again until you get a super sim that has all of the traits and the ability to handshake under friendly. And the way that I do this in order to not have to redo the infant, toddler, and child stages all over again is that because I saved it right before I aged him up from infant, if Lucas actually had the ability to do the handshake, I would just restart the game at this point. And then Lucas would be back to an infant. And it doesn't matter when you age them up, they don't get the determination that they're a half alien upon age up. They actually get it at birth. So if he didn't have it here, he would never have it, no matter how many times I tried aging him up again. So this one is a fail, and I'm not going to do this over and over again until I get it, because I've already done that, and I had to have quite a few. 
So the fact that we got a greater wolf blood first try was actually kind of surprising. And then you have a 50-50 chance to get the half alien as well. So if you don't get the half alien, you won't have that secret handshake. And that's the only thing that the half alien ability does for you anyway. But that's it. This is Charity. Thanks for watching. Did I miss anything? This should be every trait that you can get currently in The Sims 4 as of June of 2024. So leave a comment if you know of anything else.